Hi, this is Tad the Dyke Coach. I'm just, uh, it's Monday morning after a great Olympia weekend. I'm back home in uh, good old Temecula, California. I um, just wanted to give a quick little wrap up, my own personal wrap up of uh, the, my Olympia experience. This year was uh, a really banner year for the Mr. Olympia. I think Robin uh, Chang did a great job promoting the show and, and having a great show this year. Um, it was bigger, the expo was much bigger than in previous years. Um, been there for many years, every year, and this year they, it, was, it was a lot more comfortable to walk around the expo because they, I think they almost doubled the size of the uh, expo experience at their convention center in Las Vegas, and uh, it made it much more comfortable. So hopefully they'll continue to do that. Um, lots of booths, lots of free stuff this year. I think the complaint was in previous years that people weren't giving away as much stuff, but uh, this year there was a lot of free stuff, a lot of samples. Uh, so it was a very big success from that standpoint. I saw lots of people coming out with big bags of free stuff. I even, I usually don't like to take home a lot of free stuff, but I took home a bag full of stuff that was forced upon me um, by some vendors who wanted me to try some stuff. Um, but it was a really great ex uh, expo experience. So who knows? Maybe next year, I am, you may see Tad the Dyke Coach booth there. Um, but uh, the shows were great. Um, Big surprise, not the big surprises in terms of some of the end results, but not a big surprise in terms of fan support and favorites. Flex, Flex Lewis winning the 212 showdown, which was awesome. So a new, a new 212, uh, Mr. Uh, new, new 212 Olympia champion, Flex Lewis. Congratulations, Flex! Totally well deserved. You looked great. Um, and of course, Phil Heath uh, winning again. Very close race with. Phil Heath and, and Kai Green. My experience was that in the prejudging, immediately I thought Phil um, dominated, but when they pulled him out again the second time at the prejudging, it seemed like um, Kai was gaining some ground. He looked, seemed to look a little bit better as they as they um, posed and they went on, but certain poses, Kai looked better. And you know, funny thing is in the pictures, Kai looked a little bit better, a little bit fuller, a little bigger, but in person, there's a three-dimensional effect that you miss when you don't, when you're not there in person, and Phil's just very three-dimensional, very, very cartoonish. So, and then of course, structurally, I think Phil is a little nicer looking, a little more aesthetically pleasing. And so, when you look at all that, we take all that into consideration. Um, I think the judges got it right, and Phil won um, pretty, pretty convincingly for me. But it was a toss for for a while there. It was a toss-up. Um, could could have gone either way. But if you're the Olympia champion, or if you're a contender, and you want to beat the current reigning champion, you're going to have to do it in more in, in, in very convincing fashion. And so Kai Kent, Kai or anybody else who's going up against Phil now, who's now two-time two, two time champion, going to have to do it in a much higher... You can't just beat him by a couple of points. you really got to beat him. So judges got that right. Great surprises for figure. I really felt that that uh, Nicole Wilkins was going to walk away with it again, uh, just based on history, but I'm so glad that actually I was pleased to see Aaron, Aaron Stern. I have a I think particularly, I have her, she's my favorite, and I'm glad that she won. She looked fantastic. So we'll see what happens next week at the Sheru Classic, um, when they probably go to battle again. Um, and uh, the, the bikini, a uh, new bikini champion, um, which is fantastic too. I think, I think I, Nicole Negrani, was trying to come back and, and reclaim her her Olympia title, but uh, it was uh, a great, I think overall the whole Olympia experience, lots of great new champions, um, lots of surprises. The only thing I was probably hoping for was I was hoping Jose Raymond would place a little higher in the 212 in the men's 212 showdown. He got fourth. I was hoping he'd climb up just a little bit more. I had him a little higher, but I'm so, I'm very glad that Eduardo Correa, who looked fantastic, I just really love this guy's physique. Um, I'm glad he placed third behind um, uh, behind David Henry. So overall, the whole show was a great experience, and uh, it was a great a great show, great decisions. So my compliments to the judges that got it right, and uh, at least they got it right from my perspective. Um, so hope everybody enjoyed some of the updates that I sent. Um, keep sending me your questions. I'm going to start with my my questions again, my Q&A, my cardio Q&A um, for the rest of the week. So keep emailing me those questions, and I'm glad everybody followed and was supportive. And next year we'll be back at the Olympia 
with more athletes. I had some athletes this year on the show, so I'll be back there with more athletes and back there with my updates and my two cents. So, Ted the Dyke Coach for this year's Olympia um, pre- uh, review for me. Hope everybody enjoyed it, and I will see you tomorrow. Be positive.